Stay tuned for the next up and coming Sunday Live at 5 by Diana Habistat, bringing the Bloon Entertainment Network news to your phone, iPad, and computer. Anything that you wish to use to view some of the best information on balloons. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever the time is in your world. I am coming to you from Utah in the U.S., in the United States, on the west coast of the U.S., Mountain Time, 5 p.m., Sunday Live. Hey, let's well welcome our sponsors, which is Bada Boom Stickers. Don't forget to put a face on that balloon, badaboomstickers.com. And All American Balloons, allamericanballoons.net, where you can find all your ballooning needs. ABAUSA.org is a great website to inform you about all the environmental things going on in the balloon world and keep you up to date. If you're a balloon artist or an entertainer in the balloon world slash magician balloon artist, go ahead and join ABA on Facebook where you can find information to help you educate all of your customers and potential customers in the balloon world. Thanks for joining us today, or joining me today. I hope it's me. Is it me? It's always me. <laughs> As I take a look, give me one moment here. I am going to take a look at my thing. Go ahead and share and uh, that we're on live. And let's bring in some more people to listen to some things that we're going to be talking about today. It is a combination of some awesome information and to all of your dads out there and all of your stepdads out there and all of your parental guiding dads that are substitute daddies. Happy Father's Day. Okay, so we're bringing you here and let me change my screen to the wider screen. Okay, so for what I see, it's a little bit different. Okay, uh, if you're interested in anything that I do besides Bloon Entertainment Network News, I'm also on YouTube. So under Bloon Lady Diana under YouTube, there's links in the comments below that will give you the information that you need to find those. So there's also Let's Talk Balloons, which is a documentary that I'm working on to inform the world about balloons and balloon entertainers and uh their ups and downs and how they got into the business and why they're in the business. So this has been a long journey. So Let's Talk Balloons will keep you up to date on the journal of the journey. So on here we have this photo. It's moving around. Bing, bing, bing. I want to give a shout out to Michelle Elizabeth. Michelle Elizabeth went to her local jail and asked for the inmates to write letters to their kids for Father's Day. She was then going to create these beautiful balloon designs of teddy bears and floaty helium filled balloons and down below is a little box full of balloons or a box and letters from their fathers that she's going to deliver. She got nine of the inmates to participate and this is so wonderful. This brings these kids something special to them from their father and the box below she has uh, is going to give to each one of these children will be able to store the balloons as they start to deflate and become no air left into them and they can store those little trinkets inside the box and this is such a wonderful thing i have to do a big shout out to michelle elizabeth for such a wonderful wonderful thing 
And let's see, who do we have? Uh, Emmanuel, thank you for joining. So, um, also, I want to point out something that's going on uh, for a Kickstarter, but this is something I want to point out. Um, balloons are a way to create uh, memories and give joy to other edu and to others and educate people in a lot of things has been uh, the education has also been at the forefront of balloon shows there is what I believe uh, smarty pants does is the um, mechanics of balloons and, and gears and that's one of an educational purpose of gears and how balloons can show kids how gears work and everything like that also when you're building a large structure you're you are utilizing math and engineering all at the same time and the power to grasp children's imagination with balloons is amazing. So the possibilities of education is so huge regarding that. So here's something that's happening in the UK. Um, it is um, Olivia, um, Olivia Post in the UK is doing a Kickstarter. This is uh, for her to do a uh, replica of the Mayflower out of balloons using 10,000 balloons. She also has a Kickstarter on there that is uh, needing to get some boosts. And this is for 2020 on the 400th anniversary of the Mayflower. Um, this is a, a comment that um, Allison Kirby posted um, regarding this event. And she believes that the project is, is not... Uh, is not worthwhile or potentially uh, educational. And I don't know, her terms is environmental, I believe. And she wishes to try to stop this. Now I went on to the, the actual news report, which you can find that link in Ben, where you can go onto the news report and you can post a little bit of support or a lot of support for Olivia and she is doing something wonderful because one, she is creating something out of balloons that is magnificent. At the same time, she has to, again, use engineering and math and education and history. She, she takes three blows. I mean, she takes uh, engineering, math, and history and combines it all together to create this. And no, it's not going to be near an ocean. It's actually going to be in a school for, in a school building. She has done other projects which were really great and uh, created some stir on history and everything like that. She is providing education and she's providing some information regarding balloons and proper disposal of balloons. It's very important that you understand that she is doing something wonderful. And even if you put in a few little hurrahs or way to go or try to support her in any way, or if you can support her in her Kickstarter, do so. This project is for 2020. And it's for the four, uh, 400th anniversary of the Mayflower. It is something that, that is educational and it can bring awareness to a lot of people. I have been on there and I have made my statement known. Um, I have uh, pre-set up on my phone a lot of paste and copies, comments where I can cut out things, make sure that when I respond it's an appropriate way, at the same time knowledgeable. And in my um, experience with artists and artist expressions and artists using using certain mediums to create something for views for other people. It's very important that um, people understand that balloons is a medium. It's a artist's expression of medium. And these people are trying to combat that by saying, well, it's a waste. It's not. She's going to properly dispose of them. And, you know, I even posted that she could, like, send the balloons to me so I can recycle or to Angel Bravo who can do some recycling of these balloons. But the whole point is, is that you're, you're taking in my view, is that they're trying to take away a medium. I mean, come on, there was people that used feces to create art one time, like throwing feces on a on a canvas. I mean, there there's a lot more uh, things out there that people use, and artistic creativity is being smothered because of a political agenda that is not true. And I will emphasize that heavily, political agenda that is not true. It is one of the reasons I continue my campaign in educating people about balloons at events. And I am online also trying to educate people about balloons. Um, 
If you wish to have verbiage or help in getting the proper verbiage to answer people properly or educate yourself in being able to answer people properly, go to ABA, A-E-B-A, on Facebook or PEBA at P-E-B-A on Facebook and join those groups. Join both the groups. I'm involved in both groups also. Um, and what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Well, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people who don't want to um, interact in actions like this are afraid of uh, being backlashed. Well, at the same time, are you afraid of losing your job? Well, I will let you know that in Maine, they just now banned balloons. They banned them. You cannot use balloons outside anymore. You cannot use them outside. That means any balloon twister that wishes to do any type of busking will not be able to busk balloons outside. Will not be able to be on any public area to busk balloons or any area that's owned by the county. This is something that recently happened. It is posted in the balloon balloon entertainment network news um, forums of hotspot news that you can take a look at and read this is one of the reasons why it is so important that we start to speak up we can't sit there and sit on our bums and say oh it's not going to happen to us it is happening to us because it's a snowball effect and educating ourselves on this can help us bring a little more light and understanding to what's going on in the balloon world and how we as balloon artists do not like litter but love to educate our kids on all sorts of things. Um, okay, so another thing we're going to talk about is Balloon Training Institute. They have, Balloon Training Institute has their October six day class for only $500. Now, I have been to this six-day class um, in uh, November of 2017, and this is a hands-on course to be able to learn how to do balloons plus marketing of your balloons. It is no joke. They will, tr they would, I mean, you get intense training. It is six days of huge intense training plus free lunch, by the way. And you're not too far from Dollywood, so if you're a Dolly, 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 um, Dolly Parton fan, Dollywood's just down the road. I, I always emphasize that because I am a Dolly Parton fan. Um, Balloon Training Institute has 24 uh, students available for this class in October. So if you're interested in that, go to Balloon Training Institute on their website or balloontraininginstitute.com and you'll be able to sign up for that class. I highly recommend it for the needs of everything else. Hey, Casey. Hey, Casey. Hey, Casey. And then, hi, Casey. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry. Both of you popped on. KC uh, Heap and KC Ushi. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pronounce this right. Ushima. Let me know if I got that close. And hi, Melissa. Um, how's Canada? Eh? How's Canada? Eh? <laughs> as I stumble in all of the world of but as I stumble in and out of the world of balloons, uh, I become more familiar to it, great resources uh, that it provides. And how is it that we are a balloon artist uh, fear the people, fear the people who are trying to ban us? We do not want to fight, or are we afraid that the backlash will be, uh, or the backlash that will happen when we speak out? Well, we all will get backlashed, okay? So take in consideration, well, I, uh, I am both. I do not like to be attacked. At the same time, I must defend my job. I must defend who I am, and I must defend everything that, that um, I do. And balloons is something that changed my life, saved my life, and created a new resource for me to be able to work with people and work um, and learn to work with uh, different people, meaning lots of kids. <laughs> and lots of adults in a different way. And it's opened me up. And I know it's opened a lot of people. I remember Jonathan Fudge stating something that he is an introvert, but when he is out doing his balloons, he's more of an extrovert. Um, uh, that is something that I've learned about a lot of balloon twisters. Um, we are, some of them are introverts, but when we get out there and we start balloon twisting, we become more open and we become more aware of uh, people around us and we're able to communicate. And it is difficult to try to communicate to people who are trying to ban us. Um, we all have our own evil moments and we have to deal with it. Those evil moments in our lives are the people that wish to, to cause havoc. Uh, but with the right information and the right knowledge, um, we can definitely, uh, definitely have a good thing. 
on that. And we can definitely do something good regarding that, right? <laughs> okay, so as we move on to the next phase, I do want to emphasize again, I know this last week I had that picture up of the awning, but I want to talk about hydration and staying cool during the hot season as it is definitely coming upon us. In the hot seasons, we need to make sure that we either have a cooler for ourselves. See, there's a cooler in the background of that picture right behind the red and black chair. This cooler is filled with water and some um, electrolytes now. Um, so Gatorade water, depending on if the event that you're at is filled with a lot of stuff. Hi, Shan, how you doing? And uh, depending on the event, how long you're there at the event depends on how much you really need to make sure you have. And always have some kind of energy snack with you to be able to stay energized and not start drowning out. When you get dehydrated or start to sweat a lot and, and dehydrate, your energy also goes down and your ability to do things will become more difficult as your um, muscles start tightening up and things like that. So make sure that you have water with you. At one point, I actually had a camel pack, one of those uh, water um, dispensers that you put on your back, and then it has a hose, and then I would just drink from the hose while I was working, and I didn't have to pick up a bottle and twist and go like that. Um, so that is also another option if you wish to do that. Also, camel packs are pretty cool because if you get the right one, you can also put little ice packs on the back of them and just keep your whole back cool and 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 lively. Now, also, there are things in the stores that you could buy as the summer months come. They'll start selling them. They are bandanas. Now, inside the bandana is a type of bead. You soak it and get it wet. It expands in the coolness, and you can wrap it around the back of your neck and keep yourself cool. So if you're going to be out in the hot, hot weather and you're under an awning, it still can get hot, or you're under an umbrella, please try to stay hydrated and make sure that you are able to be able to continue on doing what you need to do to provide some memories and happiness to all your customers. Now, one of the things I want to see, as you can see right here, is we have this COIA convention, in, and it's in Niagara Falls in 2020. Thought this picture was pretty funny when I saw it in their Facebook group. And their theme in 2020 is superheroes. And of course, they of course put clowns on there. Now, this is a uh, clown convention. And I do know a lot of people love going to this convention. I just thought it was quite funny and interesting uh, um, of the photo. And it definitely sparks up a little bit of clown fun and there's nothing wrong with that and this next year I guess it's in Niagara Falls which also brings the fact that uh, you get to see some great falls okay so I, I've been to Niagara and I have seen the falls and they're beautiful wonderful and amazing and I just enjoy them a lot and uh, again, uh, that's that's just one of the, the cool things about going to conventions is sometimes you end up going to some great places that you've never been before. So save up your money and head on over to the COIA convention and uh, have some super fun <laughs> with some super clowns. Um, who else, Jen? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me do some. Let me do some scrolling. Make sure where we're at. I use water with some pink Himalayan sea salt. Ah, nice. Now that, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, what else is that? Uh, go cool bands and towels. Yes. Those, I, uh, is that what they're called? Chad is go cool bands, um, and towels. Um, Let's see, what was the other end? Vitalite, yes. Vitalite is another great way to stay hydrated because it has the um, uh, glycose the, that you need to help uh, re-energize your body and everything like that. Uh, hi, Ben. Um, I announced your um, Balloon Entertainment Network, our Balloon Training Institute, and uh, we made sure we got that in there. Okay, okay, now this, this one is starting to scroll. I had to look at my iPad because this one right here wasn't scrolling, so now it's scrolling. Let's see, uh, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, yeah, Vital, okay, here we go. I can read the rest of it. Vitalite is, my, uh, so Shan Ingleby says, Vitalite is my go-to hydration powder they used on the Grand Canyon River trips. Ah, so there we go. And close, Yushi, think sushi, and Jima rhymes Hiroshima. <laughs> Uh, Ushijima, 
So it's Ushijima, right, Casey? Ushijima. All right. I, I got close. I try. I watch a lot of anime, and sometimes I'm watching anime where I am listening to it, and it's it's uh, uh, subbed, not dubbed. <laughs> so so I try to get that that language in. I love it. I love it. Okay, what was it? Vitalite has less sugar and chemicals. Okay, there's there you go. If you're into the less sugar, less chemicals type thing, Vitalite is for you. Thanks, Shan, for that update regarding that. Um so I just I just have these things that uh, bug me a lot and I just want to make sure that people understand that there is no fear in standing up for yourself. Make sure that you are educated in the information which is very easy to find in the resource, resources of PIVA and AVA. Um, on my end of the border, oh, on my end of the border, I've been really busy um, this year more busier than I really thought I'd actually be. And it's been quite an amazing adventure in everything as um, I've never been fully booked um, for a whole month, like literally fully booked to the point that I have very few days to even be able to let my customers know. And it, it was, it, it has been kind of a um, sticker shock or shock sticker, not really sticker shock. But it has been an uplifting, um, uplifting um, information for me in my marketing skills and the ability to get my name out in the community to uh, be booked for things like that. Uh, the funny thing is, is that some of this is out of the state. So that means word gets out a little bit further. And that's actually exciting. At the same time, it's also kind of like, wow. Um, what's going to happen next? Uh, how do you keep that energy going with your business and make sure that everything keeps moving with with great new ideas? Well, one of the things I've been um, doing in my marketing is changing a lot of things up, especially on my YouTube channel. Now, um, if you guys have been on my YouTube channel, you'll know that the, the previous title pages were very bad. They were just pictures of me and it had backgrounds and stuff. So I've clarified a lot of the pictures. I have about 80 more videos to change. But as, as I'm doing them, you can see the product that I'm wanting to teach and see it clearer and, uh, and choose if you wish to learn from it or not. And it has boosted um, my YouTube already with several people looking and subscribing, which is duh for me because I've been doing this for like almost three and a half years of, of YouTubing and it's taken me a while to change and that's through um, educating myself on things and utilizing my iPad. So my iPad that sits over here has a few programs on it and these programs have given me the ability to uh, do things. Now I know there's apps and programs that you get on your phone. You can quickly do almost the same thing that I do, but I have invested in a few uh, programs that are a little bit more detailed um, oriented that gives me the ability to work mostly on just that program to make Make all the changes. Um, the one of the programs is called Procreate. It is an artistic program for the iPad, which you use the iPad and iPad Pro plus the iPen, and it gives me the ability to sketch and also then um, animate it. And at the same time, it gives me the ability to do all sorts of changes to letterings and and um, your um, fonts. Now some of these programs that you use that are really cheap and inexpensive that or free, uh, these programs that you use that are free, they're always limited on this. Well, I paid $9.99 for the whole thing. I don't have to pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee. It's $9.99 and I get it. And this program has been a huge new uh, development in me being able to put out more uh, content for my marketing and several things is is the animation which has turned out quite good um, as I'm learning more and more about animation now in let's talk balloons you'll see one of you'll see uh, one animation I did with a free program and then you'll see another animation that I did with procreate I hadn't gone one step further to get it to talk yet but I have started doing 
that. So one of the programs that I used is is similar, but S. Frank Stringham informed me about that he he used to create some of his great uh, uh, marketing videos for Bloom Jam Utah. And I took a chance and, and took a look at it too and did my own little test run with it, which is very good, very well done program. And it's quite fun. But then I moved up a notch and immediately went over to the program called Procreate, which is a artistic program that gives you the ability to literally do anything artistically talented that you have in you. Even if you don't have much artistic talent, you can take something, put it in there, and create something with it. And that is just amazing. So with that, not only is it updating for um, Let's Talk Balloons, it's also creating a lot of uh, stir in 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 um, in my marketing on my balloon page. Give me a second here. Let me read a few things. Um, yep, thanks, Casey. Gatorade, Powerade, for example. Yes, want to see the nicest view of Niagara Falls? Save money? Question mark. Come to the Canadian side where you, I know. See, that is so freaking funny, Melissa. Uh, the Canadian side of Niagara Falls is so freaking beautiful. Just remember, if you are planning on going to Niagara Falls, you will need your passport if you are a U.S. citizen, because you can't just cross over and come back. You will need a passport to get over and get back. But you can see the most beautiful side of it is Niagara Falls. The same thing is up in Montana at Glacier Park. The best side to see Glacier Park is actually on the Canadian side. So when you go up to Montana to go to Glacier Park, you have that same thing. You Canadians always get the rock stars of everything, don't you? Uh, I love absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see. Got my prize. Oh, you're, well, I'm glad you got your prize. And what did you think of, of, of the, I sent you a few um, crumbs. What did you think of those seven inch crumbs? I've been working with them right now. Uh, live green egg, live pro green egg, pro green egg. I'm not sure about pro green, uh, pro green egg. Clarify, procreate, yes, procreate. Procreate, uh, pro and create put together as Procreate, which is the funniest freaking name for a program, but at the same time, it's Procreation. So, um, and it is seriously some pretty intense stuff if you get deeply into that program. Uh, my Wi-Fi echoes, what's, what, pro, what program? Procreate, Shan, Procreate. Okay, let me scroll. Uh, any diff, uh, definitely call you to sell service before crossing the border. Why call your cell service before crossing the border? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm curious. <laughs> okay. All right. Where was I? Um, as the marketing process continues and the development, I have learned that you have eight seconds. Well, I've learned this. This is something I've known for quite a while. You have eight seconds to grab the attention of anyone to be able to uh, grasp their attention to continue reading on anything that you post. It's keeping it short and easy with between... Uh, 20 seconds to 60 seconds of some kind of advertisement is ideal. If you do short little clip videos or anything like that, do it, make it, create it, and 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 put it on your page to help advertise. One of the other things I found um, is very popular is tagging. If you have people that, that are in your um, page uh, that you know, um, tag them, tag yourself. Um, so you now have an option in Facebook where it can say, do you want to be, like it tells me, do you want to be Balloon Lady Diana or do you want to be, when when speaking, or do you want to be uh, Diana Havistack? And this comes on on any of it. So if I'm already looking at things as Diana Havistack, I can switch it and say I want to be Balloon Lady Diana. So when I make comments on forums, uh, business uh, group forums in my community, sometimes I will click and click it as Balloon Lady Diana is the one responding, which gives them like, well, who's Balloon Lady Diana? And then they click on, you know, they click on that. It takes them directly to my page. Did you know that? So when they click on your name, just like if they click on your name, if it says 
Diana Havistack, and I click on that, it takes me to my private uh, personal page. So you have that ability to now switch it. So um, take advantage of that. So if you see somebody commenting on something fun and fabulous event or something like that and say, I am so glad. So when I was doing UnCon, and I was helping advertise for UnCon and be in UnCon and any posts that were happening with UnCon uh, two weeks ago, I made sure that I posted and things that I put in there. Some I accidentally did in Balloon as Diana Havistack, but I remembered every now and then click on Balloon Lady Diana as a response. So that way when I responded to these comments, it was Balloon Lady Diana. And that give them the ability to see that and then they click on that highlighted name and it takes them directly to my page. So there is a marketing tip for you to uh, to uh, take in. Um, we do that. Okay, if you call before you cross the border, it's a lot less expensive. I had to, I had to walk across the border just to do it. Oh, the huge bridge. Hey, Jennifer, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Love you, baby. Uh, hugs, hugs, hugs. Um, so that is one of the things that you can also start doing now. Um, Facebook has started implementing other things too. You um, Now when you create an event, this is something that I'm starting to see and something I haven't done quite yet because uh, uh, I've been busy, <laughs> but it's something that you might want to take advantage of. If you are going to be a part of an event, a public event, you can now go into, well, you could always do this, but you can go into your Facebook page and you can tag that event, create your event, stating that you're going to be at that event. So you can basically create your own event on your Facebook page, which you knew that you could do anyways, right? You should have already known that. And But now you can tag that event. So when you do it and people look at events, it'll say, um, Balloon Lady Dinah will be at UnCon and it's an event and then you can invite all of the people that are on your page and even your own friends and stuff like that that are that are friends of yours in your community to be a part of that uh, event and show how many people are interested in coming, how many people are not. And you can keep posting some stuff. Now I'm going to be, uh, next week I'm gonna be at Gaming Con. Now my advertisement for that is a little bit of last year's photos of what I did at Gaming Con. And I posted just a few of them. And then I'll be posting a few more and saying here's some more awesome things that I did at Gaming Con and some great people I've met. Because I take advantage of being a balloon twister and being able to create stuff, which also kind of put me to the head of the line when I'm talking to some of these stars that do voiceovers for some of these animes and movies and gaming things. And that I got pictures with some stars, just like I did at UnCon, where I took advantage of being able to make something for the characters of Lost uh, Land of the Lost, and of course for the Indian in the village people, the the Indian, the guy that, that uh, portrays the Indian in the group village people. And um, doing that gave me the opportunity to get photo ops on my end of the bargain. And that gives me the ability to advertise, look at the cool people that you can meet at events like this. And this gives that not only your popularity with people saying, oh my gosh, I love this. Well, when I got Last year, when I was at Gaming Con, and I got my picture with Victoria Atkins and with uh, Somerset, uh, Victoria does the voiceover for um, Assassin's Creed and a couple voiceovers for characters in Fortnite. She also has done several movies. And then Somerset, of course, she has done a few acting things and voiceovers for other things. But one of her famous ones is, of course, being Zelda. And she does the voiceover for Zelda. So um, when you gather these two elements together, popular gaming um, events and popular um, people, uh, actors that do the voiceovers for these popular games, it gives you the ability to be able to spread a little bit of information. And at the same time, and sometimes you get the luck and joy of them also posting your work on their Facebook page or their Instagram, which I have had several 
several uh, people do um, throughout. And it, and it, of course, then can create a small clip video, which I'm talking about. If you're available to be able to make a video, you can take that small little bits of these great things, create a video, and in emphasize as the creativity of what you have and able to do when you go to events that encourages people to want to hire you for their private parties, corporate parties, and uh, birthday parties. And uh, this is something that has benefited me now, as I can emphasize again, that uh, the month of July, which I was told by um, a friend of mine is not common to be fully booked, but um, it's usually so hot down in Texas that a lot of balloon twisters are not working as much and stuff. So I do have the different state thing where I'm up in Utah and they're down in Texas, but it's not common to be literally booked. Um, I don't have but sporadic two days here and two days down here and stuff. Now, uh, it's all about the marketing. Um, if you can create funny memes, that is another marketing ploy, especially if you wish to get attention. And it doesn't have to always be um, something about balloons, but keeping your uh, balloon page uh, active is what's going to create the noise that you need to have people continually going back to it. On top of that, um, a lot of people uh, emphasize websites. Definitely make sure your link to your website is on your Bloom page and that uh, on Facebook, on your page, your, your business page on Facebook, that you have a link to get to your website. This will be able to make traffic to your website at the same time. And on there, you can have more details and stuff. Now, some people argue about putting their prices up. Some people argue about not having prices up. Excuse me. <coughs> but I, I believe in having prices up because um, if you're going to at least uh, save some time because, again, people have short attention spans. If they don't see prices, they may not wish to contact you. If they see prices and say they can make that decision right off the bat, yes, I like this, I'll buy this and send you that email contract to be able to get that all set and done. Okay, uh, awesomeness, <laughs> thanks, Jack. Um, and, and all that is combined with uh, many steps. Um, I didn't jump into knowing all of this all at once, but there's just some tips here and there that I've learned throughout the few years of marketing, which is starting to pay off every year. I get more and more bookings. This year has been a more uh, challenging because now I'm trying to fit people in and I've actually had to start saying no because there's only so much I can do physically uh, because of my uh, disability on my legs and back and stuff. So um, this has been a great experience at the same time a bit. Uh, uh, I wish I knew, I wish I had um, the skills to have done it a little bit sooner. But that's just something that comes with time. If you're willing to work with a few editing programs, some of them are free. If you have an iPad or an Android, um, Adobe has several free programs. I have, I have them, uh, Adobe, um, Adobe for programs on my phone and on my iPad. Mostly iPad, my phone has uh, a few limited because I like to keep it down a little bit. Um, uh, because I work with Apple, I have the iMovie, which I can quickly whip out a cute little uh, trailer or something. I like the ability to be able to edit um, something fast and efficiently um, to get it out quickly. Photoshop Mix is a free program that is an Adobe program. There's an Adobe art program that's also free, but it's also limited. Again, uh, I have to move one program or one thing to Photoshop and then Photoshop will do more. But um, if you're willing to take the time with the program Procreate, you basically have um, those four programs that I have on my iPad um, of the Adobe setups that I have. Um, are now almost eliminated because of Procreate. I have everything I need on one program and it was only one nine ninety nine. Okay, so basically if you want to round it up, 10 bucks. Um, and um, I, uh, it just all takes that time. Yes, it's a learning curve once you get on it, but there's great tutorials on YouTube to help 
take you step by step. And uh, that will get you the opportunity to be able to create something awesome, even if you're just using some basic changes or anything like that. Even if you don't have um, an Apple Pro or an Apple Pen, you can use everything with your fingers, just like I do with, with my phone. Um, when I'm editing photos with my phone, I'm using my fingers, but I make sure I zoom in to make sure I'm cutting out the pictures uh, as best I can to make them look really great. These, these are techniques and things. It does take time, but I find sometimes I'm, I'm a person that likes to have noise, so I'll actually have a movie on just to create noise, um, and then I'll be on my phone editing things. Um, I know I helped some people out with some stuff not too long ago. They sent it to me. I got it on my phone. I brought it up, went into pages on, on, on my phone because I have pages from Apple, re-edited it for them, and then sent it back. Uh, this is just what I do. I have this weirdness ability. Now, um, take one step at a time, just one step at a time. So you don't have to jump in. Um, this is taking me uh, two years of just working with every program that I've used, and it has been an up and down situation. And now that I'm doing the documentary, the documentary that I do, uh, it has given me the, um, I now I'm into sound, so I've had to download um, uh, a sound program to be able to edit the sound. This is, it was so frustrating because I had a perfect interview, great interview, and for some reason the microphone cut out and in and out. I guess I didn't plug it in all the way, and so now I have to edit the sound. So now I'm getting into sound. Some of the things, okay, what's going on? I have a golf cart you can use. You have a golf cart? Golf cart. Definitely talented to St. Shen's. Golf cart. Oh, your golf cart. I forgot about that. Um, what am I using the golf cart for? Uh, I'm not doing any parades. I'm actually going to be out of town during um, the parade times. I'll be in uh, Red Lodge, Montana for the first week in July. And then the third week in July, I'll be back in Red Lodge, Montana for another event for a whole week for both of them. So um, things are a little strange. All right. So as we go, I, I kind of chatted a little bit longer than normal. And we're back into the chat room. What do you have to say? Anything? I'm going to try to keep track. I've got uh, new glasses and they have bifocals. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see me go like this, it's because I'm reading what you say. Instead of going like this, like before when I was going like this, I now just have to kind of tilt my head up a little bit. Still getting used to them. I've only had them for uh, three days now. So it's kind of weird to have that little bifocal line right there. But oh my gosh. I want to say when I could just glance down and look at something instead of going like this. It's great. <laughs> I was thinking about getting LASIK surgery. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Not anytime soon. Um, also, um, somebody's posted uh, in Bloom Twister Central. It's been around. A lot of people understand. Make sure that you do your arm exercises. As you can tell today, um, I've been able to bend my hand a little bit more. I went to the doctor on Friday, so this is not good news. So as you go, if you guys were watching last week, um, I had um, I had an incident with my hand. And um, it created a um, problem. And so I got into the doctor and um, they've got to do some more, um, you know, some more x-rays and things like that. But uh, yeah, we're looking at surgery. So I um, told him that I can't have surgery till a while. And he's just looking at me like, okay. Okay, so who wishes to win a bag of pink bear bodies? Yes, a full bag of pink bear bodies. 50 fashion bubblegum pink bear bodies. 50 count. Brand new. Never opened bag. See, bag has not been opened. A cutter. And an all American Balloons Sharpie Marker that has the, okay, and it's nice and fat, and it 
comfortable in many people's hands. Who's ready for the trivia question? Or should I do several trivia questions and I send three items out? Or should I just bundle it together and you get all three items? Thumbs up for all three items. How's that? I need a, I'll wait, I'm patient. There are four, so if anybody, and I'll be patient, if any of you guys wish to uh, let people know that the prize portion of this in uh, Balloon Entertainment Network News is up and running, we can get some more people challenged to wish to do this. I do have um, a trivia question. If you guys are ready for it, thumbs up. Anybody? Anybody? Okay, so technically I think there's only, oh, there's a lot of thumbs up. I, I bet you it's Shan. <laughs> I just saw that. Technically, there's actually only four people viewing right now. I, I know, because I have my iPad up and that creates one. Okay, so trivia questions, all three items. Okay, so trivia question is, are you ready? Are you ready? Who is... Who is the famous sculptor of the balloon dog? Who is the famous sculptor of the balloon dog? And if you answer the question, the winner gets a brand new bag of balloon large bear bodies, a balloon cutter, from allamericanbloons.net and these came from allamericanbloons.net and balloon black sharpie push pen allamericanbloons.net so the question is who is the famous sculptor of the balloon dog sculptor sculptor Eileen Smith, hey, glad you could make it. Casey, <laughs> woman, you are one of the luckiest women in the whole freaking this whole year. Okay, ever <laughs> Casey Heap, you just won. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start banning you on these trivia questions. Um, fastest to the draw, I guess. Yes. So, Casey Heap, you are the winner. And I think I do have your address. I think I actually finally put it in my phone. I mean, you have won so many things. Considering with Balluminati, where sometimes I do um, also giveaways at Balluminati, for um, any of the, anyone that's in the vault of Balluminati, sometimes I do trivia questions there, too, and you get prizes. So, <laughs> okay, Casey, you get the pink large bear bodies. You get a cutter, which you probably now have, what, four cutters? You get a cutter, and you get an all-American balloon Sharpie. I love these things. A lot of people are telling me they love them. They're ergonomic, just wide enough. Just, I mean, the grip on them and everything. Some people just love these things to pieces. And uh, so Casey Heap, you are the winner. Uh, um, I'll double check. I might have put your address in the phone. If not, you know where to message me, right, girl? <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, here is another tip, something my daughter told me about, something you guys might know and might not know, but I just want to throw that out. One last tip. It's called the cable critter. Something I picked up at my local office store, Office Max or Staples will have these, and I just want to give a note these things are here. Now, what's the purpose of these cable critters? Well, this comes off. It comes out first. Let's get it out of its package. Okay. So you have it out of the package like this. And then you have these awesome cables that fray See how it's already got a fray right there because it bends? Well, you open up their belly, okay? But 
you start in the mouth, go down the belly, and you stick it in. Push it, you gotta push it apart and stick it in. And now it's inside. You push this down and kind of get it in its mouth and push it down in the mouth like that. And it creates, it creates this blockage so the wire now will not bend at that joint up here and you have a safety guard for your chargers. This will help prevent your chargers from becoming loose like this and last a lot longer and you won't have to um, buy new chargers. And they are called, again I'm going to tell you, cable critters and decorate and protect for your cables. This is really cool. I got the penguin. I thought the penguin was cute as a button. They come in all different kinds of animals and um, so I got the penguin one. There is your tech tip of the day to keeping your stuff awesome. <laughs> okay, anything else? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, Sorry, Shan. Casey beat you to it. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, you didn't, because Cherie Rosner beat you to it. <laughs> but I do need to rub your head a couple times when I meet you again, because uh, I, I, I need that luck, as Shan put, luck of the Irish. Okay, so it's, it's a long day, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's... Uh, Balloon Entertainment Network news. Please make sure that um, you take a look at the hotspot news and you're welcome to share anything. If you guys got any other news or information that you wish to have, please send me a message or an email to Ben, uh, B E N N, Diana's Desk at gmail.com and I will be able to create some news or if you find something, tag me in it and say, hey, Diana, tag me in something that I might not see. Because a lot of the information I get is directly on Balloon Entertainment Network News. Uh, th the information I post there is because I'm browsing um, through the balloon thing. And next month I won't be able to browse a whole lot. But I do like to keep hotspot news up and going. So I am the one and only. <laughs> so a little help every now and then. Just to post, tag me in a post saying this might be, say, Tag me in the post and say, Diana, this might be interesting news, and I'll take a look at it. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being around. Happy Father's Day again to all you lovely men out there being fathers and daddies and stepfathers and stepdaddies and all of you guys who are what I call mentors to other children um, and a father figure to other children that do not have fathers. Thank you very much for your awesomeness, and thanks for being great fathers. And as I always say before I sign off on any of my work is practice, 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 because that's what's going to make you guys great entertainers. And have a lovely day. Bye-bye now. <laughs>